our enterprise is a farming operation of sheep and cattle. And then overlaying all of that, we have a poultry bedding business. That's been running for about 30 years and it's based here at Murray's Flats, north of Goulburn. We employ about 16 people in the business, which includes my son, Tim. Anthony was sick in 2000 14 and took 12 months off work. We didn't think he would go back to work. I then got sick in 2015 and ended up taking a redundancy from TAFE. With a leap of faith, put the redundancy and my super into the business. Timothy was still living at home here. Our girls both live in Wagga. They felt that there was a team A and a team B developing. Timothy thought that we could keep it all in-house and sort it out ourselves. I ended up saying to Timothy, this initial stage is not negotiable. For my reasons, I need to make this phone call. And that was about where our family was and it was also from my family experience. Had we done things differently in my own family, my siblings and parents, um, some outcomes may have been a little different. I was sort of against it in the initial phase, just the expense and takes a bit of time to be honest about it. What we've got out of it has actually turned out to be quite a good investment. I understand the system better, which is I'm more comfortable with. And I think the kids have got a lot more out of it, so they understand the system as well. I can't just make a decision like I used to. Now I have to go through this whole system, which is a lot better for, for everyone. Most definitely when we started the process, it was definitely about what do you have for retirement? You need X, Y, Z. We talk about things a lot more and that's probably some of the basis of why it actually has improved. To make this thing work, it has to be quite forensic. That initial having to do that was quite intrusive. When I look at it now, I don't know why I actually did feel like that. The value, you can look back now and see the value, no doubt about it. Timothy, I would say, up until doing what we're doing now, he was just about the doing of the job side of it but it's brought Timothy much more into the business decision side of it. I liken this process to firming up the base of the triangle, and it sits in the same category as our accountant and our administration. Each of those people have, has a piece of the puzzle to offer. To tell you the truth, it's been proactive that brought us to the realisation that we have got something to success, and we never thought of that before. If you actually don't ask them, you know, and when something happens dramatic, well, it actually all comes out that I was just told that's what it was. Now we're at a stage where that decisions that we are making now can be reviewed, looked back every 12 months or every six months, whatever we need, so that everyone's still comfortable. This has really given us that space to talk about that for the long term, and that's been really cathartic and it's been really wholesome and it's been really honest. So I think that's the thing that's really made the difference. And they can actually see that we can probably look after ourselves in the future and that, you know, and one of the spin-offs might be that we can look after them as well. I think the value we've had out of this, I honestly, and the children know what we've had out of this would absolutely be, be, worth, be more than worthwhile because we've got children that are, and parents who are all actively engaged and we've, we're, still going, we're still moving forward. The kids can see that with our farming enterprise and this business, it's actually not a, a funny thing to even think that potentially it could just go indefinitely. It doesn't really matter because really that's, um, that would be a great outcome. And, and succession planning, without a shadow of a doubt, has, is going to enable that. So, and without that, I don't think we, you know, we actually had a future.